I be that pretty motherfucker. Harlem's what I'm rapping. Tell my chicken quit the gift, then we gon' make it in a second. Never disrespect me. What's my name? More money, more cash, more. More money, more cash, more. More money, more cash. More. What is good, y'all? Welcome back. Can we get a ring with Kevin Durant? Uh, and it's 2K12 Creator Legend. Uh, you guys really been showing this series a whole lot of love, man. So if you want to continue showing some love, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and we're jumping into our first game of this episode. Now in this first episode, we're actually going to be facing off against Andre Iguodala. That's going to be our small forward matchup today. Uh, of course, against Kevin Durant. And uh, he actually used to play with us in the beginning of the season and then we ended up training him. So we're going to watch that matchup between Kevin Durant and Andre Iguodala. Now on Iguodala, so far good defense, but he goes by. Terrible communication right there by the defense, and they end up getting the ball right there. KD trying to do a little too much, but Curry gets it back and knocks down that three ball. He is a very, very deadly three-point shooter, as you guys know. Uh-oh, Nene almost gets the steal. Tayshaun Prince swings it over, and that's KD with the windmill to end that fast break. Gotta give me a thumbs up for that one. And after that, I thought, you know, y'all probably thought he was done. In this first quarter, get Charlie McMillan away. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That was filthy. I couldn't even say his name right. That's how nasty he was. So in this first quarter, man, he's over here scoring. He's making plays. KD. Oh my God. Is doing everything. He is pretty much at every facet of the game. And uh, as you guys see, Iggy Dollar's been. He's been balling too. He's been balling, and uh, that's the matchup we've been really looking forward to to watch. And uh, those two have not disappointed so far. Now, like I said before, the whole point of this series is to see can Kevin Durant win a ring? Can he win the bling again after winning it in real life? Can he win it and create a legend? And uh, so far, we're about halfway through the season. And it's been pretty much smooth coasting for, for the uh, Warriors. And right here, two seconds left on the clock. And that's not a buzzer beater, but that's the last shot of that half. Now Curry with the ball. This is the third quarter. Swings it out. Perfect pick and pop situation. And another three is knocked down by Kevin Durant. So now this game, I mean, we've, we've gotten the lead and we've kept it. And right here, Iguodala's trying to, you know, he's trying to get wavy on this, trying to get free for a couple shots. But other than the, you know, first few dunks he had in the first half, we have played really good defense on him. And I hope I'm not speaking too soon. Contested shot is off. Damian James with the pass and another fast break slam by Kevin Durant. I mean, he's been doing this all day and nonstop. Now, I'm sure you guys have been also keeping up with the offseason. And, and I got to, you know, I know I'm a little off topic, but it's been kind of hectic, man. I really did not see the whole Kyrie Irving thing going down. Uh, I for sure I for sure thought he was going to be, you know, willing to stay. He'd want to play with LeBron as long as he could, but um, he has other plans in mind. And honestly, as a basketball fan and uh, as a former basketball player, I really – don't see anything wrong with what Kyrie's doing. He's basically trying to find a situation where he can be the focal point. And, uh, you know, there's some teams that he put out, like the Spurs, the Timberwolves, and the Heat. And of course, shout out my, my Miami Heat. And the Knicks. And honestly, if he went to the Spurs, he would still be the superstar of that team. Uh, Kawhi Leonard is a really reserved guy. He's not the type of guy that's going to speak to the media and have all those jokes, and he's not going to be the one to be in those commercials. So I see where he, why he'd want to go uh, to a team like the Spurs. And, of course, Greg Popovich, great coach. And uh, as you guys see, this game is a blowout. That's why I stepped a little bit uh, out of pocket. And, oh, my God. Iguodala just had to end that game right there. But that's why I just wanted to touch base with that NBA topic right there. Um, I think it's going to be really interesting to see which way it goes. But as you guys see, we finished this first game of this episode against the Pistons. And it's a blowout game. Now, KD also had a great game. And Curry had a, a pretty good game as well. So let's go ahead and check out the stats. Looking at the stats, KD dropped 35, four rebounds, four assists. And Curry, I know I said he had a good game, but he was three for three. 
and uh, for the Pistons, Iguodala let them in scoring, but they came up really short. Now, looking at the MVP race, uh, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, those are the top three guys, and pretty deserving of it, of course. Six man is uh, Roy Hibbert, Baron Davis, Jason Kidd, and uh, that's going to be interesting to see who ends up taking that one. And for Defensive Player of the Year, again, Kevin Durant is leading the votes and as well as the all-star lead for the fours. He's just flat out been killing the competition. Um, he's a, basically the best player on the best team, and he's really been capitalizing on that. He's been making the most of that, and that's pretty much why he's leading all fours in the West and uh, all-star votes. Now, in the East, as you guys see, Dwight Howard leads all centers. And now, you guys got to remember, this was back in 2012. Uh, he obviously was and still is a pretty good player, but back then, he was phenomenal. And now, we're heading to our second game of this episode. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. We're facing off against the Portland Trailblazers. Now, I wanted to leave that intro in there just because that, I really like that song with Eminem and Royce of 5 9 um, If you guys have heard recently what's been going on, 2K did release a soundtrack, and I think, honestly, it's going to be one of the best ever. Oh, my. Okay. Gerald Wallace had other plans, and this Blazers team started off this game really, really hot, guys. Now, back to what I was saying about the 2K playlist. It came out, and they really do have some really... He has some features from Drake, Quavo, some of the hottest artists out right now, and Lil Uzi Vert, and Kendrick Lamar. So this playlist, man, might be one you could even... You know, you might want to take that playlist with you to go to the gym or work out or something. It's that sort of playlist. And Kevin Durant. As I was ranting, is just out here straight dominating. That's the guy right there that's leading the league right now as far as MVP votes um, early in the season and as far as NBA Defensive Player of the Year. And as you guys see, he's averaging 28 points, uh, second behind none other than Russell Westbrook, which is no surprise. He does his thing, and right here, Curry pulls up and knocks down that three to end the third quarter. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe. Wait a minute. That was a tough shot to make. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you want to show some love, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below what you like about the series, what you want to see new on the channel, and I'll be sure to check all those out. But as you guys see, this game right here is really tight. 49 to 45. Now, we're trying to go a little one-on-one. -on -one. Too much, though, for Kevin Durant. And right now, our offense looks terrible. Great players bounce back, and he gets an and one. Now, 49 to 48. I'm not saying this is a KD from the NBA Finals that pulled up while they were playing at the Cavaliers' home court, but in game five, did I say. But he is definitely showing up in this situation. Uh, now, they're making their shots, too. Right there, Brandon Roy pulls up and knocks down another shot. They're up two right now, and uh, 29 seconds left. They give it to Roy. Top of the key. That shot's up. It rings up and out. We get the rebound. Fast break KD. What can you do? Passes it out to Nene. Gets the ball back. Swinging the ball. Seeing what we can get. Uh-oh. Falls to the pump fake. I take it down the rack. That's how you tie a game up. After that one, making the free throw, 11 seconds left. I think we got this game good, y'all. This is just about done. If we can hold him down without getting a good shot. Oh, that shot of the is up. Oh, whoo. My heart just left my chest for like a split second. But that miss right there by Gerald Wallace led us to making another two free throws. And that is game. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. More videos more frequently. Uh, just got back from Maryland. I'm back in Orlando. Back to make more awesome videos for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I miss you guys a lot, man. Haven't been around for a few, three, four, five days. But your boy is back in business. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment for your boy. And I am signing out.
Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. Million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world, cause that's just all that I know.